GarageBand for Mac comes loaded with more sounds, effects and other audio options than you can shake a stick at, but chances are you'll want to broaden your sonic horizons at some point. If you're unfamiliar with the process, downloading and installing third-party audio unit plugins to GarageBand may seem like a less than intuitive process. Here's how it works. First off, you'll need to find a plugin that you want to download and install. I'll use Blue Cat Audio's excellent freeware pack as an example here. I'd highly recommend you grab this bundle yourself after watching this video as you're getting your hands on seven high quality effects for free. Now, GarageBand is only compatible with the Audio Unit or AU plugin format, so make sure you select the Mac AU option here. The plugins will then begin downloading. I'm using Chrome here, but depending on what browser you use, the download may look slightly different, so bear that in mind. Once it's done downloading, click on the installer file and double click on the package file here to begin installation. All of this license agreement stuff is great if you're having trouble sleeping at night. Taking the time to read through this will have you dropping off in no time. You can, however, just click through and agree to all this stuff without worrying about legitimate plugin developers stealing your identity or revealing your unique tastes in adult entertainment to your family and friends. Sorry, Gran. Joking aside, depending on what version of macOS you're currently running, you may get a security message blocking the install of these plugins. You can approve the installation of the plugins by heading to your Mac's preferences, clicking on security and privacy, clicking the lock to allow changes, you'll need to enter your password here, and selecting allow apps downloaded from App Store and identified developers. With all of that out of the way, and with your shiny new plugins now installed on your Mac, open GarageBand. Before going any further, you need to check that you actually have audio units switched on. Open GarageBand's preference menu, navigate to the audio tab, and make sure the allow audio units checkbox is checked. This is unchecked by default when you first install GarageBand for Mac. I have no idea why. Now select the track you want to apply your plugin to and open Smart Controls, either by clicking the icon at the top of the GarageBand window or by using the keyboard shortcut B. Click on the Plugins drop-down menu here and click again in the box. In the list that pops up, navigate to the Audio Units option, then hover over Blue Cat and then select one of the plugins that came with your free pack. I'll select the excellent Free Amp plugin here. And there is Blue Cat's Free Amp plugin loaded up and ready to use in GarageBand. So there you have it. That's how to download and install plugins into GarageBand for Mac. If you're just getting started with GarageBand for Mac or just want a refresh on the basics, you can download my GarageBand Quick Start Guide absolutely free. I'll put a link to that down in the description box below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.